when you actually got airlifted in, what have you seen of the trail? Like people talk about um, the, the trees being woven together or the fact that the trail was extremely wide so, you know, two mm -hmm. trucks could pass or um, the fact that it was really dusty so obviously a lot of troops would have walked backwards and forwards or there were foxholes. I and mean, we saw foxholes still. Mm -hmm. um, what, what did you see? I think what struck me uh, the most was how well camouflaged their bivouac sites were and, uh, you know, where they could drive uh, their vehicles into uh, dugout uh, holes so that they'd be protected and overhead camouflage. And it'd be really extremely difficult to see from the air. And uh, they obviously put a lot of work into it and uh, a lot of thought into it. And, um, their, their survival depended on it. So um, that was... Uh, I guess the most interesting. And it also struck me too how uh, the Montagnard people in those areas were impacted by what was going on. And uh, I think they're the forgotten group in uh, a lot of the uh, after action look at what took place in uh, Vietnam along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And those indigenous Montagnard people are the ones who were really impacted the most and suffered the most and are still suffering to this day. Unfortunately, no one's done any follow-up with them and, and asked them about the impact of uh, how the Ho Chi Minh Trail affected their lives and how all the activity from the North Vietnamese and from the Americans uh, just disrupted their whole way of life. And uh, that most Americans who operated on the trail will tell you how close they were with their Montagnard tribesmen, teammates who uh, accompanied them, and uh, how the, the, the relationships that were uh, developed with them and how important it was to them that they were fighting for their freedom and for their lifestyle and for their homes. And, and that was absorbed by us, the Special Forces people who were with them. And it recommitted us to be able to do a lot of these things. It was more than just running a mission. It was just more than professionally doing your job. And uh, you talked about dangerous circumstances. I can't think of anybody who, who couldn't tell you that their life was saved by a Montagnard at one time or another. So what did you do between missions? <laughs> we... <laughs> Cut. 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 <laughs>